The AG's report proves again this Prime Minister is not worth the cost or corruption. The report reveals massive corruption at the Green Slush Fund, highlighting the misappropriation of $76 million through 90 cases of conflict of wow. interest. Their directors sat at the table, awarded millions of dollars to their friends and to their own business interests, business interests. all the while more and more Canadians are hungry and homeless. The question is simple. What plan does the Minister have to get that money back? The Honourable Minister of Innovation. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative are so allergic to good news that they go to old news, Mr. Speaker. The big news today is 4.75. That's the number that all Canadians will remember. That is the number because we have good economic news. But Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to answer the same question again. What is a responsible government? It's about lynching and inquiry. That's what we did, Mr. Speaker. And on the basis of the findings, Mr. Speaker, we suspended the funding to the organization. The CEO and the chair resigned, Mr. Speaker. And now we're proposing a new governance model, one with the National Research Council, because we want to restore funding to small and medium-sized businesses in this country, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Pontiac. Mr. Speaker, water is essential for Indigenous communities. It's life. It's sacred. Before 2015, the Conservative government refused to listen to First Nations. At the time, there were 105 long-term drinking water advisories. Can the Minister for Indigenous Services update us on the government's efforts to protect water and invest in infrastructure for our Indigenous communities? The Honourable Minister, thank you to the member for Pontiac awful. for her work so on bad. access to drinking water. In 2015, the Liberal government completely changed the paternalistic approach of Stephen Harper. We now listen to and work closely with Indigenous leaders. Our investment has allowed us to uh, eliminate 144 drinking water advisories. We've also tabled a clean water bill for First Nations, so that we'll never go back to where we were before. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member for Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan. The Auditor General's report proves that this Prime Minister is not worth the cost and the corruption. Most of the government's $200 million in contracts with their friends at McKinsey broke the rules. Liberals mm -hmm. are tight with McKinsey. The former ambassador to China and head of the Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Panel came from McKinsey. The policy director to the former Minister of Public Services and Procurement was also McKinsey. This government serves McKinsey consultants and scandalizes Canadians. Why did Liberals repeatedly break break the rules to benefit their friends at McKinsey. The Honourable Minister of Public Service and Procurement. Thank you, Minister. Um, Mr. Speaker, I've also responded to this question. One question we haven't got an answer to is why are the Conservatives not sharing today's great economic news? The first reduction in interest rates in the past four years and the first in G7 countries, and that is not only because we have been responsible budgetarily, but because Canada in 2025, inaudible for the interpreter, investments in dental care, investments in health care and child care, especially throughout Canada, and investments in, in home building. For Sherwood Park, for Saskatchewan. Mr. Speaker, it's no surprise that Liberal Minister will do everything to avoid talking about even mentioning McKinsey in the response. Yeah, yeah. Minister, this question is about McKinsey. This company supercharged the opioid crisis, advised totalitarian regimes, held a co uh, corporate retreat down the road from a concentration camp. This company has a vile track record, and yet Liberals have constantly turned to this company, supercharging McKinsey's profits, and Liberals have turned to McKinsey to make critical decisions about this country's future. Now that they've finally been caught by the auditor General, will this NDP Liberal government finally ban this vile company from government contracts? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Minister of Public Service and Procurement. 
it may indeed be that our colleague was distracted when I spoke about the matter many times during the question period. Uh, I'm happy to repeat the same, the same answer to the same question, which is the fact that we thank yes the Auditor no. General for her report. Her yes report no. contains recommendations and views that have been understood and heard in many other reports in the previous months. We have acted on those recommendations for more Absolutely. than a year now. There's nothing more to add except that today is an important yes. day for Canadians and their economy. They don't seem to care. You know, the first time in four years that there is a fall in the interest rate and the first in decrease across Bravo. 47 countries. Bravo. The Honourable Member for Livy Lodbinière. Mr. Speaker, after nine years of this government, it's not worth the cost nor the corruption. The Auditor General told us yesterday that the government awarded 70% of its contracts directly to McKinsey without a call for tenders with the help of the Bloc Québécois. This is, a, this is blatantly unethical and irresponsible. It's thinly veiled corruption. It's a real scandal, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, why is the Prime Minister handing out so many contracts to McKinsey without a call for tenders? Why? The Honourable Minister for Public Services and Procurement. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very clearly, uh, people aren't listening across the way because I've responded to this question many times. The problem in listening, because a couple of days ago, I heard the leader of the Conservatives tell Quebecers that the Canada dental care system simply didn't exist when there are 2,000 seniors in Lévis le Binière who have already registered to this apparently inexistent program. This chick's face in the background, the blonde and, chick. Uh, there's a high percentage of dental experts that have already signed face. up to the programs.